Hi YouTubers, it's ForkyCookie45LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone and today we're going to compare the Lee Collet neck sizing die with the Lee full length sizing die. And these dies are included in the Deluxe die sets. Well, YouTubers, we're going to discuss these two dies in the Lee four hole classic turret press. Very fine press, very strong, very popular with reloaders. Very, very sturdy. Now the Lee Collet dies have been around for a long time. What they do is that at the bottom of the stroke, the die is adjusted so that the cased neck is squeezed by a collet that surrounds the case neck and presses it against a mandrel to resize the neck to hold the bullet. Now the amount of squeeze can be adjusted by the die being turned in or out of the out of the press and when the proper amount of tension to hold the bullet is achieved we lock that die down and we're in business. Now the Lee Collet die is best used for bolt action rifles where you have a camming action to help chamber rounds. In rifle actions that don't allow you to do that, such as semi-automatics, lever actions, pump actions, even single shots that don't have the camming action, you, might, you would want to full length resize instead of just size the neck. But for bolt actions, if you're going to size the neck, the Lee Collet die gives you the advantage that you don't have to lubricate the cases, but you do have to lubricate the collet, the collet squeezing device inside needs a little bit of grease. So YouTubers, for purpose of demonstration, we're doing 30-30. And so we run the case into the die and we feel the primer coming out and then the tension of the collet closing down and now we're squeezing the neck against the mandrel. That comes out just fine. Now you'll notice that there is some red striations there. See that? That's caused by the grease that I put in there to make sure the collet doesn't get stuck against the case and then we'll stretch the case on the way out. So that just wipes off. But that neck is properly squeezed. So you see YouTubers, we take a 30 caliber bullet and we go ahead and try that in the neck and we've got good neck tension. By the time we deburr the inside and outside of that case neck and then we seat that bullet in there, that's got the right tension. Well, we're supposed to full length resize a case like a 3030, but if you go ahead and try this, the body has not been resized so that this is blown out to match the, the chamber. If you're gonna use the same rifle, you might want to try the, using the, the collet die and see if you have any functioning issues. If you don't, then the Lee collet next sizing die can be used for 3030. But if you can use it for another rifle that's 3030, that might not be a good idea. Here's the standard full length resizing die made by Lee. And we've got that installed in the turret press. Certainly if you have a semi-automatic action or slide action or even other lever actions, you might seriously consider just going ahead and full length resizing. And the way that works is, you put your case there and it's got to be lubricated. If you don't lubricate this case, it will get stuck in the, stuck in the die and you got really real trouble. So here we go, we go ahead and run that right into the press and then back it out. And now that expanded the neck to hold the bullet. And there you go. This case is full length resized, good for any action, good for full functioning, ready to process. Hello, YouTubers. I went ahead and took the indexing pin out of the four hole turret press and went ahead and full length resized all the brass because that's the safest thing to do for lever actions is a full length resize. So went ahead and did that. But if I were shooting a bolt action, the Lee neck sizing collet die is a 
pretty strong candidate for use. Take care and we'll see you next video.